Hey everyone, James and Mark here with another video. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button, answer these two questions in the chat. Where are you from? What's your favorite food and how did you find us? My name is James, this is Mark, and we film videos every Monday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Welcome back to another live stream. Hi. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Doing good. How are you? I got a little neck thingy here. Do you see that? All that my little salon pos. Mm. Uh, I slept wrong last night, and I I already could feel like when I laid down, I didn't position the pillow right. We uh, did our bed and all that, and so um, I don't know the way I positioned the pillow was not good for my neck. So now I've been in pain all day. Or it could just be that you're no. getting older. Okay, so I'm trying to not fight like within the first three minutes of the stream, but I feel like that's look at me. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. What am I looking at? A young husband. Ja Hello, Jaja <laughs> Na. Na. I'm going to say it wrong. Jaja Nang. Hello today. Jeez. If that's the vibe we're going to go for today, I just need to know. We might start drinking earlier today. <gasps> what? I'm actually excited because I feel like I haven't had wine in a while. Yes. At least in the last. Oh, I had it. I had it last weekend, Very allegedly, last weekend. but do I remember? No. Didn't you get wine at that um, Artesia place? Did you get wine that day? The day I lost my wallet? That wasn't last week. Two weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. You said last week? I mean, it is last week-ish. Right? Two weeks ago? What? Whatever. Oh my God. You are so confused with your dates. It's just called context, okay? I didn't know you're nitpicking every single thing I'm saying we, today. We can't share fake news. Girl, you share, you share fake news all the time. Okay, girl, you getting older is not fake news. It's actually fact. F but me having a thing in my neck is from sleeping on the pillow, not being old. Okay, okay. I want to see some scientific evidence. You know what? Before we get to the, the stream today, I do see a super chat. So we're going to go straight to the super chat from Already? our lovely friend, oh. Jane Doe. Oh, my. That's a long. That looks very. I think that's a baguette. Wine time. How long are these, by the way? Jane says that she's coming over. I'm sure there'll be plenty left. So you know where we live. If you if you want to drop by, you, you have, an, you have an open invitation. Open wide. <laughs> thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Are you ready to sing? Jane, Jane, thank you. We appreciate you. Yay, thank you so much for that, oh, that super was, chat. That's Great, way to start off. Yeah. Great way to start off. Um, you know, now I'm in the mood to say hi to everyone else that's joined today's stream, and we'll tell you exactly what we're doing for today. So we got Barbara, yay, time for food fun, and Colleen saying it's James and Mark Day. Welcome, everybody. We got Linda saying, can't wait for this live. We love charcuterie boards. Who don't like a good charcuterie board, right? We have Eve and Teddy, welcome to the live stream. We have Sarah, welcome, welcome. Barb mentioning that Blackpink won an MTV award. You know, I've stopped watching the VMAs a long time ago, but I do still go on like websites just to see who's winning these days. I we think, need to learn that dance too. I think the most memorable one is probably Madonna, Britney Spears, and Christina Aguilera. Mm. There was a gentleman last night who kissed a woman and a man. So I felt, I when I watched it, I was like, you're just trying to be Madonna part two was the vibe I was getting. Was it kind of like they walk out and then he kissed Oh, him? no. They were like already doing like the choreo and then he kissed the girl, which everyone, I, mean, I don't know what his uh, sexual orientation is, but I think that was like, oh, okay. But then what the shock factor was when the, when the backup male dancer came in for a kiss too. Mm. So I don't know. Should we should we do that for a, a video one day? We need a third though. Who wants to volunteer? What's more shocking, like another man or a woman? Man and a woman. Okay, okay, okay. Put that on the wheel. Oh, how about Hedy? I could really? give Hedy all the kisses. He left. He's like, okay. <laughs> he, 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 he hears the intro music. He's like, that's my cue to exit stage right. We got a Joe baby here. Welcome to the live stream. Marianne and Mike, welcome, welcome. Yes, let everyone know what you're having for dinner. Thank you, thank you. Oh, y'all are keeping yourself entertained. We love that. We have Lisa Gray. Welcome. Happy Monday. LMT Daniel TV. That sounds fun to say. Hi, welcome. LMT. We got Chungy Fuck My Life. Hey, my booze. Hi. We got Perla. Oh my God, we're 
We're shy, what, one month till Pearl, Pearl-tober? Oh my gosh, are you excited? What's, what's on the plan? What's I saw plan? you on a plane, actually, so where are you? Oh. Evelyn, welcome to the live stream. We also have Linda here, welcome, welcome. Yes, like this video. What happens when you like a video? If we hit our like goal, which is 50, 75, 100, 125, and so forth, uh, we get to spin the wheel. And the wheel is either punishment or reward. Yeah. And whatever it lands on, we have to do. Exactly. So, yeah, keep us posted on where we're at with that. We got Maxi, Simple Life, Elaine, and Julie. Thank you all for being here. Renee, Carter, all these names we are so familiar with. Welcome, welcome. Jane says, I volunteer Andy and you, Jane. That could be the guy and the girl. Oh, okay. There we go. We got uh, K-Moo in the house. Hi, Eddie. Welcome, welcome. We have a gun here. Hi, y'all. Welcome to the live stream. Thanks for being here. Um, James and Mark uh, says, wait, Laura says, hi, James and Mark. Welcome. <laughs> well, James and Mark also says hi back. How hello, hello. <laughs> uh, Diana says, hi, guys. Finally made it to a live. Yes. Awesome. We're super excited. You know what? We're on the cusp of a heat wave very soon. Um, I think oh. we might be in the midst of it. I heard it's going to be pretty hot the next couple of days. So, like how hot? Like upper nineties, mid to upper nineties. Uh, this is like the first like real heat wave I feel advertised before. Yeah. for this year at least. Mm -hmm. So today's live stream is going to be great because there's actually not going to be any heat source to my knowledge for assembling what we're doing tonight, right? Well, I guess I mean if you're being technical, yeah, that's a heat heat source, source I guess. So what are we doing today, Mark? Uh, we'll be making a charcuterie board. Yeah, but not just any charcuterie board. So y'all thinking about like the crackers, the cheese, the meats. The salami. Salami. The sometimes olives, sometimes nuts, honey, jam. All of those things that you know about charcuterie board, wipe that away. Because today Go we're going to be making a bun me version. Bun me. Actually, I almost said, I said it the Americanized way. So let me, let me recorrect so I don't... Um, offend any of my ancestors but me okay and if you are non-vietnamese you probably have said it or heard it's pronounced ban me no but you say it the way i just said it oh, ban me. Okay. me okay no now i'm like really offended what? are you trying was I'm that trying, trying? Yeah. that no you try again mama. okay do it again but me but me that was even worse than uh, <laughs> no girl okay, one more time i'm really trying but me <laughs> No, that is not right. I'm about Bunny. to leave. Bunny. Don't put your hands down. <laughs> Bunny. Bunny. Is that how I sound? Bunny. I'm going to watch the replay. Everybody at home, say it out loud. Bunny. Bunny. Now, would I, would I Bunny. like criticize you for how you're saying? I mean, you're trying, I guess. Bunny. Bunny. Why do you sound like you're telling the news, though? Like, just Bunny. Bunny. <laughs> but me, but there's a little like inflection at the yes. end that I hear, like but me, like yeah, like that kind of but me, but me. Hmm, this is interesting. But me, are you okay? Kimchi but me, kimchi but me. I feel like I'm hearing like a Europe, like something in Europe, European oh, accent like somewhere too. Accent. Yeah, would you anyway. like? Would you like a? Shrimp and cracker. <laughs> what, what accent is that? <laughs> You're like a bun me. Okay, bun me. Bun me. Bun me. Bun me. Bun me. Okay, there we go. Bun Pearl me. is actually in New York. Oh. Melissa and I are watching you guys. She says, hello. Hi. I'm sure there's good bun me in New York, right? Melissa, have you had bun me before? Pearl, you've had bun me, right? Maybe like the really modern, like, you know, expensive kinds. Mm. Like a new age bun Oh, me. right, right. Yeah. The hip kind. The hip kind. Oh my god, we have Victor on. Oh my god, my faves Ultra Girl here. You know, Ultra would be really good with the bun me, actually. Oh, right? In one bite. <laughs> She's talented. Yeah. How's it going, Victor? Thanks for dropping by. We have Linz. Welcome. Well, we also have Garrett here. Welcome, Garrett. Oh, so Joe Baby is the same as Joe Krause. I need to change something. Oh, there you go. Okay. What's up, Joe? We know you, Joe. Welcome, welcome. Joe Baby. The me sounds like the me, and it's gonna be me. It's gonna be Bun me. Bun me. Bun me. Bun me. Close enough. So we it's actually. Gonna, it's gonna. Bun me. me. It's gonna bun me. It's gonna bun me. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna bun me. 
So uh, we picked up a baguette from Lee Sandwiches. Lee Sandwiches is probably one of the most well-known um, Chain. bun me chains mm -hmm. that there is. Right. And then we ended up picking up some other mm -hmm. items that we're going to fill the board with. So a lot of times bun me has a, diff a lot of different like Vietnamese cold cuts. So you, you know, something as simple as like ham, but there's like Vietnamese ham, which I think this is kind of what we ended up having to ask for. They sold this like $5 a pound. No, 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 $10 a pound. We got half a pound of this. Where did it, where was it here? I don't even know. Uh, this one's Jalua, which is like a pork loaf. You'll see this a lot in not only sandwiches, but in Ban Kung, which mm -hmm. we had this past weekend, and a lot of the Vietnamese noodle dishes. Mm -hmm. This one is like a boar head cheese, or I don't know what it's called, but you can kind of see the inside. There's like the innards, you know? Um, so we're going to slice these up. And then, of course, all the other things that you can usually find. Cilantro, cucumbers. Mark showed some of the jalapenos earlier. We have, we have to have Vietnamese mayo, which hits differently. When we try it, we'll tell you why it's a little bit different than this is not your best food, Heldsman or QP. This is different, okay? Uh, we also have pate. Who's a fan of pate? If you don't know what pate is on the back here, it's like, uh, how do you describe pate? Like liver? Liver. liver. And then we have some pickled uh, carrots, and I always forget if this is radish or daikon. Daikon, which is the same. Yeah. Daikon is a radish. Yeah. So, and then the magi sauce, which is a flavor enhancer, I think. So, right? normally, all of these ingredients, you could make your Vietnamese sandwich or banh mi with this. But mm -hmm. instead of making, we're, we're not making a sandwich, right? Yeah. We're going to be displaying it like a charcuterie board. So, deconstructed sandwich. And I think this works because similar to a traditional charcuterie, mm -hmm. it's the same types of stuff. You have your pickling stuff, you have yes. your some vegetables, and you have some cold cut meats, you know? So very similar. Huh? Yeah. So I think that's why it works. And is it kind of like a social media trend? I've been seeing it a lot on like Pinterest, a lot of like um, short videos where people make these oh, now. Yeah. Because, you know, I love a, a meat and cheese board, but sometimes you got to mix it up. And I think this is a good way to mix it up. Um, so I'm super excited to assemble this uh, today. And then we also are going to pair it with a glass of wine. What's that? What is that going to be for something? It's like a oh, really cool if, globe oh, glass. I, I didn't know what was on the wheel. Oh, okay. But if it landed on gin, mm. then we were going to use um, finally the gin glass that we were gifted. Well, how, how would you know I would put something on the wheel if I don't you know? know. I, I, did we talk about it? I don't know. We didn't have a chance to talk about it. No. But, or if we're in the mood to drink some gin. Oh, or, but for sure, we will have wine. Yeah. Uh, so we're actually going to bust out the gifts that Michael's uh, gave us. So this wine glass. Did I grab the one that's... Oh, yeah, this one's mine because I'm slurry. This one, because I'm romantic. Mine says, I enjoy long romantic walks down the wine line. I'm not slurring my words. I'm speaking in cursive. Which they don't teach anymore these days. <laughs> Do they not? Oh, yeah, they, they don't. don't. Teach cursive anymore. That actually would be a fun wheel thing one day. It's like we have to write like a sentence in cursive and just see who's. Oh, okay. Because I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen you write in cursive. Oh, really? No. Mm, I have my own flair. You style. know what's funny? Also, like Tom, not recently, recently, the Enthusiasm Project, Tom, Tom Buck, he mm. did something where you could create your own font. Like he showed us that. Wouldn't mm. that be cool if like we oh, font okay. fontalize? Is that a oh, word? Oh, fontalize. Fontalize one of our fonts. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so we're super excited to get started. Uh, Jen says, isn't there a special richer butter you use on Bundy? Absolutely. Can't you tell? This one's a little bit, I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's a little bit more yellow. What, I think, makes, what makes it yellow? What makes the mayo yellow? The if it's more yellow. richer, my guess is maybe more egg yolks, mm. but I could be wrong. I don't know, but it tastes differently. See, different that's, for sure. I think that's. I think it might be right because traditional mayo uses just egg whites and oil, right? Oh, it doesn't use any um, yolks. I think it's just egg whites. You might be right. But then with Vietnamese mayo, they use egg yolk instead. And they also said, "Been loving the K-pop dance covers." You know, we gotta we gotta balance the calories. You know, so we have to. Um, we have to learn, like, there's two or three more that I want to learn, but they're both very difficult compared to the one that Mark's doing right now. Like, the one Mark's doing right now, I, I could, you know, do it with my eyes closed. But these other ones, it's, like, a lot of hand and feet movement. So, like, I don't know if we're going to be as good with that. 
All right, so first step, what are we gonna do? Where first do we start? Step, do, how many light goals do we have? Maybe we could spin the wheel if you hit the light goal. Mm. Um, we could open up a bottle of wine. We could start prepping. Let's do wine first, actually, because that'll first. be nice to drink as you're assembling. Again, no cooking is really involved today, so now we'll grab the wine. Mark can talk about the wine, because, uh, girl, I thought you were gonna do something with that, and then I realized I'm you did. I'm trying to make. Room. I don't know the way you gripped it. I was like jealous. <laughs> okay, be jealous of the cucumber. Uh, we're we're being extra fancy today. Yeah. So this is flowers uh, from Sonoma Coast. Ooh. We're drinking a Pinot Noir today. Um, again, my go-to like. So, choice for wine if you really don't know what pairs well with what you're eating just do a pinot mm. it's very versatile so can't go wrong with the pinot however this is um probably like a 40 50 dollar bottle of wine oh okay. so we're gonna be extra fancy for y'all we're at 32 okay and joe there would be no way i could show my face and say we're doing a bun me board without pate you need to have the pate even if you don't eat it your other guests will like thank you for it because i think it's a it's an essential flavor in bun me yes like you could ask for, if you don't like it, you could ask for the exclusion of it yeah right? then just go to subway then <laughs> just go just go to Subway. i'm yeah. just kidding yeah if you, i mean pate is not for everyone it, it could be a textural thing it could be a you know, you're thinking about it thing. So I, I totally get it. Stacy, thank you for that update on the number of likes. We got cooking at the lake house saying, hello, hello, welcome. Eve asked, do you like Goya? Goya. Yes, we do. That's, um, we don't eat it often, but that's the, it's that, it's that coleslaw dish with the chicken that you usually eat with um, porridge, the Vietnamese porridge. The chicken dish that you eat with the Vietnamese porridge. The coleslaw. Oh, coleslaw. Coleslaw that has like chicken, shredded chicken in it. Oh, okay, okay. Wow, that was quick. Yeah. Ours, ours broke, but I think I fixed yeah. it. And then we're getting our cute aerator here. It's a wolf. And then some of you don't like it coming out of the mouth, but I think it's cute. You're also going to have to... I just noticed right now that one glass is bigger than the other. Oh, you're right. So just you know, keep that in mind. As oh, you mine's, mine's bigger. That actually makes sense. What though. does that mean? More wine for the bigger girl. You think you're so clever. Uh, Stacy says, flowers is from my neck of the woods. Oh, so. do you live in Sonoma Coast? Miss Say Garcia says, oh boy, wine. Yes, wine time. If you're drinking with us tonight, please let us know. And he says, I'm sad that there's not enough pate and mayo. Girl, how much pate and mayo do we need? We are a two-person household. This is plenty. This is eight ounces, which is probably, this is also eight ounces. Eight I actually ounces don't even know how much the mayo costs. Eight ounces is a cup. But you can... We got the Vietnamese mail at Lee Sandwich, so you can actually order that as like a as a side. side. As a, yeah, they have their own like menu of just like things you could buy a la carte. I think it's four dollars. Oh, okay. if you want to know, eight ounce of mayo at Lee Sandwich is four dollars, or the one Don't that we mean, go to, mm -hmm. and pate was also four dollars. Oh, very reasonable, I think. We have the receipt somewhere, but anyways, cheers, 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 happy Monday, y'all. Thank you, Michaels, for these wine glasses. I know mm. I'm already gonna get drunk if I drink this because it's a different it's a different vibe. But this is good. This it's is delicious. Good Pinot Noir. Yeah. All right, Laura B's in the house. What does B stand for today? Ooh, ban me, Laura ban me. Can you do your best um, Laura missing Winston impression? Because I, I I nailed that the other day. I just Laura just does a high pitch like mm, like really. Mm. You know, like, that's what she does. Like, oh, no, you, you, you didn't see the other. She goes like this. I miss Winston. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Laura B. I miss Winston. We got to see him a couple days in a row. And now all of a sudden, he, by the time we see him next, he's going to be a full grown boy. Oh, puppies grow <laughs> they grow so, so fast. fast. Yeah. Um, oh, I see. Eddie says when I order a bun meat and it's dry as F. So sometimes, yeah, you do have to ask for extra uh, mayo and pate at certain bun meat places because they don't really slather it on a lot. This is a good, like get your bun meat and then just get a side order of these two. And then when you get home, you could slather on more. But I know exactly what you're talking about. Sometimes they are a little dry. 
I don't, we don't know. like dry things. Does Eddie is is he talking about the actual sandwich or is he talking about something else? I mean, you, you don't use mayo for that, do you, girl? Maybe, Maybe Eddie not. does. Maybe Eddie does. I'm sure people use mayo. Can I use mayo then? The, since you volunteered, since you're so the, open-minded the about Vietnamese it. mayo, girl. No, we use the otogi mayo. <laughs> Uh, Loanne says, I skipped the gym tonight to make it to your live. Hi, everyone. Hi, Loanne. Thank you for being here. Girl, you know what? You could just do some, like, seat, like, exercises if like you're sitting. Just, just like, move tighten around. your core as you're sitting. Yeah. Or I do Kegel exercises. That's Girl, a really good. You're going to say that. That's a really good sitting down exercise. Can we all do it together? Okay, ready? So, count, count down. What's so, a Kegel, though? Huh? Kegel is the muscle that is in your groin area. So, girl, I'm surprised you didn't say Keurig because you know how sometimes you like mess up words. <laughs> uh oh, the wine, the slurry. Girl, I need some more of that wine. Drink some more wine. Like cheers. 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 All right, everyone. Are we ready for our Kegel exercises? So, um, I'm going to count to three, and as I count, you want to slowly tighten up your Kegel muscle, and then I'm going to count to two. That's when you hold it. And then when I say release, we all release, okay? Okay, so on the count of three, that's when we like kind of- So I'm going to count to three. So as I'm counting, gradually tighten, tighten it by it. three. And then I'm going to count to two for you to hold it there. And then I'm going to say release, okay? Are we ready? Right, ready, set, go. One, two, three, hold. Two, one, release. That's enough, Mama. <laughs> that is enough. Ooh, we feel, are not doing I that. I feel strong down there already. I couldn't tell if I was sucking in that part of my belly. It kind of all went in at the same You're time. You were all tightening everything. Everything. A core and people at yes. the same time. Yes, yes, yes. Michelle is here. Welcome, welcome. Michelle. Yes, grab your wine and grab your Moscato. We love it. We got Trung here. We got Pate. Yes, Laura says that is exactly it. Yeah, see it. I'm a good imitator, but Mark is actually really good at impersonations too. Impressions. Remember, do your Eddie. Go. What did I do with Eddie? What does he do? Oh, oh, when he because like. Like, hi, Eddie. I love you. Oh, that hurt. Oh, my God. Did you see that? This abuse. I have evidence. He took it too far. He took it too far. We're at 50 likes, so we'll get to that in a second. When are you going to do a hot tub stream? Quinn, my goodness. you just A uh, uh, hello would be nice to start off with. Hot tub, yeah. It's so hot. I don't want to get in no hot tub yet, but. We'll do, a, we'll do a cold tub. Is there a hot tub on the boat? There should be, right? On the cruise? Girl, do, do you trust that hot tub? Will you trust that? I mean, at that point. You just have to? I mean, yeah. I've been in less uh, cleanly places. We have Angelina Spicy here. Oh my God, right when you touch that, Angelina came home. Oh, yes, perfect timing. Like her logo right here. Welcome, welcome. All right, uh, as Mark gets set up for our first, I guess, whatever we're chopping, let's spin the, the wheel. Yes. Because we hit 50 likes. Keep on liking this video. And let's see what we got on the wheel today. We got a lot of, we got two different things, I think. All right, you All ready? Right. Let's spin the wheel. You don't want red today, probably, because that's the oh, Song Association that? game, your favorite. Girl. Oh, shoot, so early on the stream. We don't have to. We're going to have to find something else cold, and we could use a bag of peas. <laughs> we got to improvise. Oh, is it because we drank all the soju? Yeah. yeah. Okay, girl. Donna, welcome to the live stream. All right, let's see. Well, I need to find something cold. Oh, hey, it's on the um, couch. I mean, we could use this Guinness thing. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. That's going to be cold because that's been in the fridge for like half a year. Can you remind me, what's that little noise thing? Like, there's something in here, right? But yeah, what does it do? it's a little beat. Look, there's a little bead that helps you shake the beer. Oh, okay. Right? So yeah. There's a little bead inside. All right, two out of three. Rock oh, scissors. a Guinness sounds good. We haven't had Guinness oh in a long God. time. Yeah. That smooth, dark beer just 
Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay, ready? Oh, we're doing this? Yeah. Let's just face it this way. Okay. Ready? Paper, rock, scissor. Pip, rock, scissor. Okay. Pip, rock, scissor. Paper, rock, scissor. No, paper, rock, scissor. Paper, rock, scissor. <laughs> no, look, you held no, up. No, no, you okay. went like this and okay, that. Do it, do it, do it. I saw that. Do I can't it. believe you did that. No, you little I got, cheater. I got excited. I meant to do scissor, but I got excited. Let's close our eyes and make it okay. like, okay? Paper, rock, scissor. Oh, no. Karma. That's called karma. You ready? That's it. I'm going to get you. N for nipple. <laughs> <laughs> when I clench my teeth, I get more excited. I'm going to drink some. Nipple public radio. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> need something? No, I got it down. Oh, okay. Spitters or quitters? Okay, you ready, Mama? Oh, girl. Wait, jam it in there. Ready? Three seconds, <laughs> right? Okay. okay. One, <laughs> one, two, two three. three. Yeah. Oh my God, that felt so good today, girl. I just want you and to. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's cut up our cucumbers. Should we do slices? What? Or, um, or do you want um, uh, coins? Maybe slices. What is, whatever's, you know what? Whatever is going to fill up the board more. Because if you've ever watched Mark assemble, assemble uh, charcuterie, what do you? What's your motto? Ab overabundance. Overabundance is the key. Yes. Ooh, so crunchy today. Jacqueline says, hello, guys. OMG, it's been a while. I haven't gone on. Well, welcome. How you doing? We almost in fall season now. You missed Ooh. all the summer. No, Jacqueline. Oh. Saying has it's been a while. How you doing? Again, if you're here, say hello like Jacqueline did. You guys look so good. I mean, do we? Do we? I mean, I mean I, you know. I mean, we look better than one year ago, right? We need, we need to say we need to give a thank you card to our uh, plastic surgeon. Girl, then someone like Eddie be like, then you need a refund. Because you know, if, if I got plastic surgery and I look like this, still I'd be like, where's my money at? Give me my money back. You're handsome. <gasps> really? Say that again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I almost said you can give me a triple, but I'm not that drunk. <laughs> Very close, though. Larice says, hello, my favorite couple. Hello. Angelina being our hype woman. You do. You do look good. Thank you. Yes, you guys always look good. Rosie, also part of the hype club. Yes, keep liking this video. Once we get to 75, we're going to spin the wheel and more antics will ensue. Dana is here. Hello. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Welcome, welcome. We are slowly assembling our charcuterie board. The good thing about today is it's hot outside, but we're not cooking anything today. We're just putting a board together. Or Mark is putting a board together. I need a... Oh, so you're doing two. I like that. No, I was going to oh. offer if you want to do cucumber massage. Cucumber massage, like on our eyes? Or our face. Just for a minute. I mean, we can. What if what if we get like spammed attack when we do this? No, you, I'll keep my eyes open. No, you do it too. Wait, how do I don't have to lay back a little bit? Just touch the head a little bit. Oh my God, why are they so cold? Uh oh. oh. I'm covering my nipples because they're. Yeah, why there too? I don't need it there. Girl, you have a big face. You need probably two cucumbers to fill it up. You gonna put a cucumber in my mouth? Oh my yeah, god, you're just okay. doing this to no. no, you don't want it? Huh? Oh, it's okay. I can't open all the way. Huh? How's that one staying on? Okay, I'll, my neck I'll, hurts take a, I'll take a picture. Okay, hurry. My neck hurts though. Look like you're enjoying it. This is this is this is okay. Girl, I'm not you and the Trader Joe's video saying everything tasted good. I didn't say everything tasted good. Girl, I, the amount of time you Girl, said. You, okay, you're done. Just get. Uh, you, you have hands too. I almost. That was the full on Glen Ivy okay. experience. Okay, and now. Pat, I'm just supposed to pat it. Just pat. Yeah. With my, 
With my dirty hands? Why is your hand dirty? I'm touching the mouse. Oh, the mouse was dirty. I mean, the mouse I just assume is. How do I look? Refreshed? Mm. Super refreshed. Very refreshed. Where's my cucumber water? This spa is something else. <laughs> yes, yeah, spa moment. Actually, that felt really nice. My yeah. face feels cooler now. Do you want me to go back, go and turn on the air though? Yes. Yeah. Wasn't I supposed to take some footage for a short? We're we just gonna abandon that life. Maybe we'll just do a thing of once it's done. Or actually, I should do some of the chopping here. Hold on, hold on. This is behind the scenes of a short. Ready, go. Okay, so as we assemble, as we like cut things up, y'all remind me, take out my camera so I can get some of that short footage, okay? Let me turn on the air. Oh, is this Singapore? Where is this? Where in the world is that? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? I dropped a jalapeno. Now where could it have gone? Oh, it's under your chair. There you go. Woo. In the world, we almost hit hundred viewers just now. Y'all keep liking this Cheers video. With us. All right, let's cut up our meat next. Oh my God, that would be the worst. Angelina says, I don't know why I pictured me messing up and putting the jalapenos on my face. Oh. What I wonder if, if it would be good for your skin. Though. What if I did that? Oh, you know what? It actually it's might be good. It might tighten up wrinkles because it's spicy. Your face is like, like oh, make it alive, spicy. right? Yeah. So extra so. blood flow. We love blood flow, especially at certain parts of the body. Do you want to put a jalapeno there? Coach you on the coach. You want to put a coach on your coach? Girl, no, no, a plumper. Don't some people put like peppers on their lips to make it like. Oh, yeah, I think so. I heard of that. Yeah. Those or, are all natural. Or we could suck. Don't do that. <laughs> or we could suck on a cup. Yes. I wouldn't recommend that. All right. Okay. Which meat should we do first? We have. Let's do the jalu. Okay. This is. The, this is. The, it's funny. It's cute because this wrapper is supposed to emulate a banana leaf, even though it isn't. Actually, I'm curious. Once you open it, there shouldn't be a banana leaf in there. I'd be surprised, actually. We got Bonnie in the house. Hi, Bonnie. I'm sure Bonnie Miguel got us over that 100 viewer hump because we're at 100. Oh, nice. Years. Welcome, everybody. If you're joining us. We are assembling a bun mi charcuterie board. If you don't know what bun mi is, it's a classic Vietnamese sandwich. But instead of making a sandwich, we're going to cut up all the components and make a charcuterie board to enjoy with our wine. And that's going to be our dinner tonight. Girl, I need scissors. You need scissors. Uh, Eve saying, don't forget to wash your hands since you chopped peppers. That's a good idea. You okay? Jalapen I could tolerate jalapenos. Mm. I can't. Remember that one time I made um, like jalapeno poppers and then I was using my phone and I didn't really wash my hands with clean. So I thought my phone was overheating as I was oh. using it, but it was because of the peppers. That's funny. We were just talking about Serena Williams yesterday because we were watching our niece play tennis. I actually hit a few balls. Oh, yeah. Around the was really good. I was like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> That's how I would sound like. Ooh, there you go. So have y'all seen this before? This is the pork loaf. Is there another casing around it? Like, like that's a case. That right? was a paper. Yeah. Oh, oh paper. Oh, oh, that's casing. like plastic too, right? Oh, yeah. It there. is. So we're going to use probably half for now, and we'll see. For me, this is up your alley because your name is for me. We're making ban me for me. Get it? And they had charcuterie yesterday. Kevy Do in the house. Hello, hello, friends. Welcome, Kevy Do. What's up, Kevy? How's it going? Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to chop this once you get to the chopping. So you have to remind me, too. Off to the side. Off to the side. To the right, to the right. Yeah, we are heading into Labor Day weekend very soon. What next week? The what is edge, this? The edge has like green crumbs on it. Interesting. How long ago did you both eat that long tube of meat? That was a long time ago. I want to say before years. COVID. Oh, a thousand percent before COVID. Yeah. The shirt I wore in that video, I already donated it or got rid of it. 
So that's how long ago that was. I would not recommend that long tube of meat again. Was that fish? That was fish. That was fish. It's really good when you cook it, though. You're oh, not, yeah, yeah. You're not supposed to eat it straight up. The end kind of looked like matcha green tea. I know. There was some green powder on the end. Okay. Interesting. So this is what it is. So what I'm going to do is probably cut it in half and then do some my circle. Don't mind me, y'all. I'm still here. What color would you say this is? Skin color? <laughs> Flesh. <laughs> Flesh color. Flesh color. <laughs> Don't laugh and cut at the same time. I'm actually going to try one so I can describe. Here, try. It. let's try the end piece. Oh, yeah. This is already cooked. Tastes like a... It tastes like, um, like a, a ham without all of the salt. Yeah, yeah, it's not mm -hmm. salty. Uh, texture kind of reminds me of fish cake. Mmm, yes, yeah. that's a good, yeah, fish cakey. Fish cakey. Chris, Christina says, hello, cuties. Hello there. How's it going? We also have uh, Julie Smith here. What, Julie? Here? Is it Monday? Today? What day of the week is it? I'm confused. How's it going? Uh, Eve says, I love jalo, which is what Mark's cutting right now, with sunny side up eggs and drizzle soy sauce oh. and Tabasco and take bun me and dip it into runny egg. Oh, oh, that would be good. Baguette and runny egg. Now, if we had more time, we probably would add eggs to this, but we're we're good with what we have so far. Gabby Dew says, I used to get this with vegan beef next door to my old work. Vegan beef was literally better than the regular meat. So good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'll probably find this in... Bumbu or um, Bumbu Wei, you'll find that in that in those dishes too. Okay, so this is cured pork roll sausage. Cured pork roll sausage, and yeah, I don't even know how to say that. Pet pet means meat, but I don't know what the deal. I pet yoi, pet ya, no yoi. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. The great thing about this is. You know, on the way home from work, if we have extras, I might just say, hey, Mark, can you pick up a, a fresh baguette? And we can make sandwiches later this week, too. Okay, this one, for sure, is more gelatinous, I could tell. Yeah. Like, the outside oh, the yeah. outside perimeter is the gelatinous. Mm. Oh, yeah. Is there also a film on this one? It feels like it. Yeah, it has to be. It has, okay. this has to be. Do you want to cut it with the scissors? Maybe it'll make it easier to peel off. Is it? Yeah, that. Yeah, that's not natural. I mean, actually, it might. Oh, it is. There is no plastic. Oh, interesting. It just feels like it. Anyway, later I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Oh yeah, this it looks like plastic, but it's the. It's probably the fatty part. Mm. Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna cut this in half. Oh. Careful. Is it easy to cut into? There's a little pushback, huh? Yeah, this one is harder. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Now, if you're wondering what's on the inside, there's like peppercorn, there's other parts of the pork the pork it looks there. like it looks similar to salami actually yes sounds like expensive bologna i mean i would say so this was about six dollars i think a roll uh callie says hi i'm late have we discussed sauces yet so there's not going to be too many sauces for tonight's uh video right no yeah because we're just making like well, it's all this components of a bun mi, and bun mi doesn't really have a sauce to it. It's really just the mayo and uh, the sauce. pate and the maggie. Yeah. Surprisingly, it's not that oily. Mm. It's not that oily. You, it looks like it would be, but it's not. Mm. The exterior kind of reminds me, there's like a flavorless gummy. Yeah. That's the best way to describe it. But there's like, 
a little heat to it because of the peppercorns in the center. Love it. What do you need? Something to put it in? Right. Should we reuse this too? I just separate it. Okay. Julie says, what is Mark playing with? It looks sus. Girl. We have Elda here. Hi, Elda. I'm so late. It's okay. It's okay. I would say so late would be like 30 minutes before the stream ends. I think you're so good. So late. Okay, now this is the Vietnamese ham, mm. right? Yeah. We have Ella here. Welcome to the live stream. Oh, look at that. That should be plenty right there. Maybe we should have only gotten a quarter pound, but we'll eat the rest of this. I'm trying to say cut this in half and then fold it. Yeah, look at that. So this one is the Vietnamese ham. There's a outer layer. It's not as gelatinous as this one, it's but like it has a similar, similar look, look and vibe. Yeah. So we're gonna uh, Mark's figuring out how to cut this. Oh wait, hold on. Ooh. I don't know why there's meat on my phone. Fan it out, mama. Yeah. Give them what they want. There you go. What is this? <laughs> what is this? I need a napkin, mama. Where? Oh. What is all I, that I, stuff? I I, Did I you probably spat it out? I just spit nothing <laughs> out. Oh, like I was talking and then came out. I don't know. Oopsies. Oopsies. Right, so let's try. Let's try one of these. Let's try one of these. This almost looks like I've seen it in like noodle dishes. Mm -hmm. See, none mm. of these meats are salty. Mm -mm. You know how some like prosciutto, salami, pepperoni is like super salty? None of these are salty. So I think when we build, when we make our own charcuterie bite, adding a little bit of maggie sauce will help. Mm -hmm. They all have different textures, which I think will be fun to eat. Oh, yeah. As we're making this. For sure. We have Nancy here. Welcome to the live stream. And Ella, we've been doing great. How are you? Yes, the meat will be colorful. Once we assemble it, it'll be great. Don't forget to drink your wine, girl. Yes, cheers, mama. Cheers. Mmm. I think that one that's one of Mark's favorite, but me shumai. Only at some places. Oh, okay. Yeah. What what the one that you like, why do you like it there versus other places? Because some places it's too saucy for you, right? I don't know. I kind of like it. I like oh. I like it at Bami Chakali, but um, at least it's not my favorite. All oh, right. We have Sabrina and Wailika in the house. Welcome to the live stream. Mm. Once we eat it with the mayo, it'd be perfection. This one almost has a texture of like cooked brisket. It does, huh? Hmm. Mm. There was a little drama at the Lee sandwich we went to earlier. Um, someone ordered two sandwiches. When they sat down, they ate it. They were not having it. So they went up to the counter and were like, Can I get a refund? The sandwich was not good. The lettuce was bad. The, the bread was blah, blah, blah. Good. Something, something, something. And then the first thing the gentleman said behind the counter was, you give me a lot of problems. No, or no, you, you difficult? You difficult. You, you difficult. difficult. You difficult customer. And I was like, girl. But I'm over here like, is this the way I'm going to be on TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're ready for the bread. Ready for the bread. Ready for Are we bread. using a bread knife? Yes, we yeah. are. Um, the one with the red edges is the, the Vietnamese ham. It is. I don't know how much we're this much for now. Now, they didn't eat the entire sandwich from my understanding. They were already on rough patches because she ordered ahead. And by the time they got there, they, they weren't ready with any of their stuff. So they were already kind of on, yeah, they were on edge. Chungi Fung, yes, I saw your short on using chopsticks. I just learned how to use them. I need to learn how to use them too. What short? On her channel. Oh, uh, Callie says, that would have turned me off. Can't stand aggressive restaurant workers. 
I mean, as a third, yeah, I mean, he did not handle it well. But he also but is the way she very, came. He's a Vietnamese grandpa, and I think just generationally, he did what he had to do. Like, almost like I'm too old for this. Like, I don't want to deal with your shenanigans. And then the other lady, she just started going off in Vietnamese under her tongue, too. I'm like, listen to every. Well, again, I was like, eating my little croissant. I thought it was square bologna. No. Definitely a better texture than bologna. Oh, do you want a picture or a video? Oh, I'll do of the rest of the what you're chopping is fine. Okay. Thanks for reminding me. I forgot, I forgot to. Good enough for me. Also, just quick PSA. If you watch our shorts, drop a like, drop a comment. Those really help the shorts fly. So some of them are taking off and some of them are still on the ground. Yeah. Oh, I cannot wait to eat these little coins of bread with a little bit of the mayo, mayo a little bit pate. of the pate. Now, don't think that this is the presentation, y'all. No, I'm, this, this is just, just a staging ground. Staging ground, yeah. Bro, look at all these crumbs on me. Sorry about you it. You didn't one bite, like me. Yeah. Eddie says, your, your Wingstop short made me crave it. You know, that's our objective. If we don't make you crave the food we make on this channel, we're not doing our job. Okay, can you lift the tray? Mm -hmm. this out. Aaron Cantor says in caps, you both are looking so good. So good. How many O's do you think is used in the word so? Don't look. Uh, four. Very close, five. Oh. Very well, close. you know what? I think Aaron is not talking about us. He's talking about the meat and the bread. But you both? You both look, are looking so good. So yeah, fine. Cheers. Cheers to that. Cheers. You're looking good. Thank you for the compliment. It's because Mark put cucumbers on my face earlier in the stream. Now I'm all glowing and effervescent. What? I said what I said. If you can spell effervescent, I will give you a triple. I, I, You're not I, even gonna try. I don't even wanna try. You don't even wanna try, okay. Bye-bye, triple. I gave you a chance, mama. And we're at 78 likes, woo! Should we do that before the next stage? Yes. Okay, let me think we're going. All right. There's nothing about wine. That's how like ratchet I am. <laughs> All, right, All right, you ready? Let's spin the wheel. All right, so we landed on another live this week. It has to be minimum 15 minutes. That's it. Very oh, simple. that's easy. We don't have to go on. We're not doing a full-on production. We may if we decide. It but can be 15 minutes or 15 hours. We just don't yeah. know. Okay, so, okay. I think this is good. This is something, like, worthy of the wheel. Okay. So make sure you subscribe. That way you know when we go live. It'll because be it's going to be – it has to be before the next live, okay. which I don't know if we're going to go live on Monday because it's Labor oh, Day. Oh, it's already Labor Day. So maybe it's a godsend that we landed on it anyways because we're going to cancel, you know, next Monday. I have a question. Question: Are these bowls <gasps> too big? Hmm, they're a little bulky. So, you, should we use these tiny ones then? Are these too small? It's like, it's like the three bears. Where's the just right? Where's the just right? There's nothing have, in between. We don't have anything in between. Or is this smaller? Cheers. Oh, uh, those look bigger. Bigger? Actually, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Or one of each for like variation. Maybe two of these. I mean, trust your gut. Your gut's never wrong, really. Pate mayo, and then maybe for the pickles, use the small cups. Okay. 
These actually, I like the way these look more than those ones, though, if I had to choose between those. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's just, since we talked about the mayo and pate, let's do that first. Okay. Let's do the mayo first. I'm going to film you scooping out the mayo then. What did we eat with Tiffany and John? We took them to a snail place. We went to All You Can Eat Korean Barbecue. We had Vietnamese rice rolls that are traditionally eaten for breakfast. We ate it all. Oh, and we took them to seven courses of beef. Yeah, I'll use this one. Okay, I'm ready. Beautiful. A beautiful. Joe ordered Wingstop. What's your Wingstop order, Mama? Bear the Bear says, um, there's only one bear. Three bears, please. Okay, okay I get it. I'm sorry. Here, go on it. Eat it with the meat. Ooh. I'm going to load up before we actually eat it all. Okay, here. It almost looks like butter, actually. You want half? Make it happen. Mmm. Okay, it's definitely less salty than regular mayo. Is mayo considered salty? I think mayo is a little salty. Yeah, this is so good. It's very light. Very light. Mm. Okay, now next up is a pate. It's not a bun me board without the pate, y'all. Now it might not be the most beautiful thing, but it's all in the taste. Bear the Bear says it looks like durian. This looks like durian? I think it could look like it, yeah. It looks like a, like pate ice cream. Mama's. Now, if you don't have access to like a Lee sandwich, or something like that. Trader Joe's has something very similar. It's like a little black carton that oh, yeah. has pate in it. Yeah. It's. I think that's a chicken liver pate. This is probably, is this chicken? chicken? Right, chicken. Oh, this is probably chicken, yeah. Hi, chicken. Foxy Brown Babe, welcome. Hey, JMM and everyone in the house. We also have Noah's World on, welcome. What's up, everybody? Happy Monday. We about to eat soon. I don't think there's that much left to, to do, really. Okay, open up the thing and then I'll put the rest of the ingredients in there. Oh, excellent. Candies to mark. There we go. Ooh. Girl. <laughs> I, I actually I love Vietnamese pickles. Mine especially. Girl, I have to film. Everybody's Dang excited. overabundance. I know that girl. Yeah. Uh, what if we don't have access to Trader Joe's? We don't even have one in South Dakota. At that point, I think you could uh, maybe get some chicken livers and then you would just. Or um, French pate. Like Vietnamese, the reason why Vietnamese even has a sandwich, you would think, like, how's what? Sandwich? Vietnamese? It's probably because there's a lot of French influence. So yeah. the baguette. It's a French style baguette and pate and mayo, very French like, you know, and mm -hmm. like the cold cuts, but it's Vietnamese style. So if you don't have any of Vietnamese ingredients, just do it French way. Yeah. And it'll be halfway there. But yeah, you could probably just get some like chicken livers, put it in a food processor. I'm sure there might be some other things that make it a little bit more creamy because I, I would imagine if you just did chicken liver, it might be a little coarse. So yeah, maybe we could look it up and see how you can make that at home. Uh, Elder says, pate looks so gross, but it's so good in bun meat, right? That's why you don't, they smear it in there and you don't even see it. Okay, Mark's strategizing. When do I film, do I just film this entire thing and do like a time lapse? What I'm trying to. He's, he's conceptualizing what it's going to look like, y'all. Oh, like how are you going to place it? Yeah. Is it too similar color? How does it look like with the ham? Oh, no, I would do yeah. them in. Yeah. 
sections, right? Okay. Oh, you're alternating it. Got it. HML Print says, where y'all live? We are California, Southern California. So right now it looks like Mark's doing like kind of like a half crescent around moon crescent power. I think I should have enough to I'll just do one more shot of like maybe some other meats and then we should be good to go. Keep liking this video. I think we're supposed to be at what, 100 likes for the next wheel spin? Yes, because we now we owe a live sometime this week. Here the bear says moon crescent activation, right? And Joe says, I'm buying a new car tomorrow. Can't wait. What are you getting? If Whoa. you don't mind us asking, your new name should be Joe Baby Car. Joe baby car. Seek one says we love a good bang me charcucci, right? Girl. Jessica, thank you for the PSA. 87 likes and 106 in here. We totally get to 100. Oh, this is like something I should add. Stand up. Look at that torso, mama. We have 111 people on. If you just join us, we are making a charcuterie a bun me charcuterie board sometimes also known as a carcucci board <laughs> oh are we only gonna have one hamon section remember what mark said abundance maybe it's a good thing you use these wider ones to fill up more space oh well we still have bread we still have bread um yeah you got all the greens too yeah see what he's gonna do doesn't that look good y'all look at that here's some crisscross action crisscross action yes should i wash some no we already have jalapenos for the heat yes old oh, tight have... chili pepper i was thinking about that if we wanted like a red we can pick out the few red that we have. But let's let's fill up as much as you want first and then we could always do a little bit extra. Okay, I'll just do a final panoramic when we get closer to that. Well, maybe the greens too is up next, huh? I'd just figure out a spot you could just put these two. Oh yeah, now all of a sudden we don't have room. <laughs> I know, right? I was like, add more, add more, and now it's like, uh. Doesn't that good, look good, y'all? Doesn't that look good? Girl, it's pretty. We were supposed to make this this past weekend, but we just ran out of time and meals where we could eat. So we're doing it today on the live instead. We have Claudia on. Hi, Claudia. Okay, very last cilantro. Oh, cilantro. Should have fried mini quail eggs. So we, we were thinking about other components. We actually bought some other things that would have required cooking, but we're like, let's do a no cook Monday Night Live. Make our life a little bit easier today. Oh my gosh, pretty. I'll take a photo. I will do a little panorama. I'm going to move this off to the side. Oh, well, actually, you might add more stuff, huh? You might be able to make another layer of that there. Or no. We'll just keep it on the side. As we run out, we can just always pick from it. We got 121 people on. Welcome to the live stream. If you're new here, my name is James. This is Mark. We film videos every Monday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. We're an hour into our stream. We're about to eat, dive right into our bun mi board, our bun mi charcuterie board. I think I'm okay. Should we do another layer on the, for the hummus? No, I think this is good I for the, good. The, 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 photo, good. for the photo. I think it's good for the photo. 
We'll move this off the side. You know, let's finish this wine. Give us our new, like a full pour. Full pour. And then I'll take a whole stage photo. Mm -hmm. The bread here. Yeah, actually, eggs is a popular um, component to add to sandwiches as well. We could have gotten um, avocado if I think about it. You, you can just build your board with what you have or what you have access to. I think this is going to be great. Do we need? Are we going to get a knife? We already have that. I got two spread. spoons. Oh, spoons. Okay. So let's. Uh... Actually, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm going to be risky and move the board over there to take a really good photo because this is really nice. Actually, can you move it? <laughs> we'll turn on the light over here. I'll make sure I'm in Oh, frame. no. Watch for the wire, though, okay? Okay. It's just the staging here is, like, harder to take a nice photo because we got all the equipment and stuff, right? So we're just going to take a nice photo there. Maybe put the bottle of wine in the background. Okay. I'll be here. Okay. I'll wipe off our spoons so that we could use them for the mayo and the pad thai. <gasps> oh my god, it looks so good here. It's gonna get like 5,000 likes. Look at it. Uh, I charge a dollar per like, please. Oh. So say, should I add a plant right next to it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Libby is on. Hi. What's up, Libby? And then Serena, oh, I, Serena will so is this her final tournament? Oh, it might be. Or is she going to pull off like a Celine Dion where like, I retire, but then I'm having a concert. It's like that football player who announced his retirement and then is back again, Tom Brady. Tom Brady, yeah. Or so or like uh, Taco Bell uh, Mexican pizza. Girl, yeah, that's a scam. That's a scam, right? It's a scam. Okay, I'm back. Don't drop it. We've been good. Okay, there we go. We'll move it back as far as we can. Or a little closer is good. I'll see. What's the? This is the prettier angle, right? With the, the 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 pinkish. There we go. Right. I think that looks better. We'll add our wine here in the front here. Stage your wine, mamas. And we'll be we're set. Okay, I'm gonna take the brandy now. Y'all know this is a James and Mark channel by now, right? Y'all know. Oh, we gotta do it in the middle though. Closer to me, there we go. More? There we go. This is the moment. Do we need small plates? We're good though, right? We're just gonna pick from here, right? Maggie sauce, if oh, you wanna add Maggie it. Sauce. Oh, we should have put this in the background somehow. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. This looks like a spring plate. Isn't it beautiful? It's gorgeous. Actually, I wanna show Mark the photo real quick. Make sure he approves. I can show you all the photo real quick. I'm sure I approve. It just looks so good. I don't know. Do you like this shot or this shot? Which one should I share? Probably the, this one. Yeah. Do you also have an aerial one? Mm, like this? Yeah. No. Should I do one? That won't be affected here. Other one, right? The, I think the arrow is pretty. Too. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty. This first one here? Yeah. Can you all see this? It might be hard to see. Look at that. It's going to be posted on our Discord. Oh, good. Tiffany, this, this dish was inspired by Tiffany's visit. And I'm glad you got your banh mi because where she's from, there's a shortage of good banh mi. So that's why we were going to make this. We were supposed to make this on Saturday. So instead, you're going to just watch us eat it here without Monopoly you. Monopoly deal instead. Oh, she's still bitter about that. I know. She's still bitter. I would be too. I mean, All right. Should we, should we go for this? We're ready. We are ready. Okay. I'm going to build mine. Are we, we're, we're keeping the spoons where they belong, right? Is yeah. that what we're doing? Yeah. 
And then we got chopsticks to pick some of the other stuff. Should I see so. Maggie first? So it kind of is oh. on the bread. Oh, want interesting. It? Okay, that concept works. Camille, Camille, good evening. How are you? We are excellent. We're about to eat. We're about to grub. We've been... we're, we're doing a Viet Vietnamese style banh mi charcuterie board. Yes. After you. So usually when I get bun me, I always get the duck beak, which basically has everything that's on the sport. Oh, do you guys like fruit or 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 James with your meat and cheese? Wait, fruit or James? Did I read that right? Do you like fruit or James with your meat and cheese, Mama? I know that's probably an auto correct thing. Oh, I should have meat. No, mayo and pate. Oh no, that, that's that's so exactly how you would build. We it. have our bread. I added Maggie. So that it soaks it up, and then mayo pate, piece of hamon. Where should I leave this? I don't just oh, here's fine. Yeah. Can then, we? Can we? Can I get a shot of your final product? Too? Maybe one more meat. A little smear. Of the and pate. then I love jalapenos, so I have a jalapeno on top. Did you do all the meat, or just two? So I just did two. I did the well, hamon. I'm do the pink on top. Pretty. I did the hamon and the. Um, Girl, we didn't even do a jalapeno check. Is it spicy? Oh, I don't know. And then, oh, we didn't even do the cucumber either. I'm going to cucumber on the side. Oh, okay. If we add another piece of bread, it's just a miniature bun mi sandwich. But isn't this so much more fun? Is it not? Look at my little crisscross thing. Is that cute or a little ugly? I think for, oh, yeah. I'm going to eat my pickles to the side too. Yeah, let's do a video of us cheersing these. Then. Not, not us in it, but just like, ew, my hand's all ugly. Okay, ready? One, wait, on the count of three, we'll go in. One, two, three. Cheers. Okay. All right, cheers, everybody. Cheers. I'm sure I forgot something. Mmm. 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 Mm. It tastes like a fancier bun mi sandwich. Like, it's the same ingredients, but it tastes elevated. Right? That maggi sauce gave me goosebumps on my tramp stamp mm. area. You, I think if we could find this, <laughs> I think you need to add this to your bun mi sandwich. This gives it the bun mi sandwich flavor. It's so good. Okay, we're hosting a party. Everyone's invited, all 136 of you. Our address we'll send you is, the address afterwards. Our address is 1234 Main mm. Street, but somewhere in America, USA. The jalapeno is spicy, Mama. Is it not? Every freaking time. Okay, don't eat it like it's cucumbers. It's fine. Well, speaking of cucumber, I didn't have one yet. We did have a question earlier from CMITC. What's the red wristband Mark wears? Does it symbolize something important or religious? That's a good question. Not religious, but um, it's like a, I guess kind of like a, like a karma. Like mm, that karma, like that, you, that wristband didn't work earlier. Yeah. Do good things so that good things happen to you too, you know? Mm. What if I start wearing one, but it's like my whole wrist? <laughs> like I really want good like vibes. Is that why you're wearing red shirt? Because you need to just head have to more toe. coverage. <laughs> coverage. We got Mr. Ryan saying, good evening from Phoenix. Looks like a fancy uh, cutlery board dinner with wine, cheese, and figs. Yes, exactly. Wow. But now we we went to Vietnam and we're doing a charcuterie. This wine board. works well with this board. Like it tasted good without food mm -hmm. when we we're drinking it earlier, but the wine tastes better with the food. Eve says, "I'm gonna have to make this for my family. If you all make any of the dishes, send it to me and Mark. That makes our day. When we see you make something after you watch us or eat something because you've watched us, we love that." Chris says, I'm a vegetarian, but it still looks great. Yeah. We could to you could totally make this a vegetarian style. Oh, yeah. You could do like tofu. Avo avocado slices. If you're a vegetarian that eats eggs, you could do that. You could do avocado. Yeah, you said avocado. Yeah. Totally flexible. Eddie says, I just ate, but now I'm hungry. Again, this looks good. Add it to the list. When you come visit, we can totally make it for you again, Eddie. Man, nice. I'm really buzzed. 
Might be. Nice. They're cut off on the wine. That's a that's a good test. When I'm nice to Eddie, then you know something hit me. Okay, the Maggie sauce. This time I did three dots, y'all. Oh, it looks like a little bear. <laughs> oh, how cute! No, that's super cute. Oh, it looks like Hedu. Wait, wait, hold on. How it looks better there. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so bad up close, but here it looks cute. Look. What are you having for dessert, Olivia? And thank you, CM. Food looks good as always. I love James' energy. It's, it's all because of Mark. He keeps me young. That's why he put cucumber on my face earlier. I need Still to pull up all that. the tricks. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, no, this is the right order. It's a social, like, food, you know? Like, we're just... You can totally have this at the party before you like eat your main thing. This could be your main thing if it's a more of a cash thing. Everyone BYOB type of scenario. Bring your own baguette. <laughs> <laughs> so clever. Didn't um, Ken and Lisa for their anniversary thing? Mm -hmm. They had something similar to this, right? But it didn't taste like this. I'm, I was like, what am I eating? You know. Well, like they had these two components, but I don't remember what else we added to mm -hmm. it. Oh, cucumbers on the side, right? I got it. This orange. Oh my god, this one looks better than earlier. I should take a picture of just this. <laughs> Or maybe a video. I mean, pretty. Hmm. Extra fancy. Oh my god, this wine is good with this. Oh my gosh. Maybe pate, maki sauce, mayo. I don't know. Something about the flavor brings out the flavor of this wine. Bring your own bun me. I hope you have a cooking with James and Mark soon. Oh, yes, we forgot. We should do that soon. Keep Bunny says, what's the popular Vietnamese alcoholic drink? You know what's funny is we were thinking about a Vietnamese wine we can get, but I didn't know any offhand. Oh, we should have done Remy. But yeah, Vietnamese people like Remy. They Hennessy, like Heineken. Heineken, Hennessy. Coronas, that kind of stuff, yeah. Oh, oh. Any cognac. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Eating it like this, I don't know if I eat more than one baguette or beyond. Oh, sorry. Dizzy oh. Willow says, yo, yo, yo. What's that? Nick Kip says, hi guys, bun me is a favorite here. I'm all about heavy on the pate and the jalapenos and veg. I love eating me so much for the brightness and fresh flavors. Your board looks delicious. Thank you. <laughs> That's an inside joke. If you are on TikTok, there's an influencer that calls their shark. She has a hard time saying charcuterie, so she calls it a carcucci. Mm. Yeah. Pasamaka says, bring out the Henny, hunty. Do we even have Henny to bring out? Wait, actually, John probably didn't bring home the Henny he bought, huh? Should we go over next door? Next door? Laura B, where's the hunt? And where's the, the Henny? Laura B. Laura Henny. That's so good. I'm going to do a purest one where there's no Maggie, just mayo and pate. pate. That's actually, there was a spot next to Mark's old house where I would buy that from. And we would eat it just like this. Mm, yeah, just uh -huh. order a mayo, order a pate, and order a baguette. That's the mm. cheapest breakfast. CM says, soju. Now that would be an uh, infusion dish. We eat this with soju. I feel like many of these people do like soju. Because yeah. a lot of the restaurants serve soju too. Yeah. 
Tiffany says we did not take it with us. There we go. So you we know shut it's still up. There. I thought didn't you check in your bags? Oh, uh, speaking of shorts, did y'all see our shorts with Tiffany? I know. I, I need to post the outtake version. She stole the show yes. with the pajamas and the towel hair. I was hair. like, I want to wear my pajama with the towel hair. But the, the outtake, I'll post in a few days. Tiffany, do you remember the dance? Like, you don't have to come on stream right now, but can you do it from your seat? Just to see how much you retain. Okay, sing was out. I a good teacher? Okay, ready? Oh, you can do it, just so that people know. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Memories fun on me left and right. Yeah, I think I'm a good teacher, and y'all are good learners. Though Mark did say I was a little dance mom about it. I was like, I have a little <laughs> feedback for y'all. Hey, but we were the we were the last three standing. Oh yes, because Laura passed out, which I which is rare. Jeff was sleeping. John was sleeping. It was just the three of us dancing. Mm -hmm. Who says I did it? There you go. We have James here. Happy Monday, boys. Hi there. We have Ty. Is this the same Ty we know? Oh. The one we like to ignore? Is that the same one? Ignore? I'm just giving him a hard time. I thought his name was different on here. Wasn't it TV? Wasn't there a B something? Or is this a different Ty? If this is a different Ty, I'm so rude. <laughs> Well, hi, Ty. Dang, identity change. Who are you trying to run away from? Which I am watching a popular Netflix show right now called Echoes. Mm. Which I don't know why it's called Echoes yet. Yeah. Oh, it's the same Ty because they oh. said rude. I think I didn't change name. Who right? are you trying to hide from? Who are right? you trying to run away from? Who did you scam? <laughs> <laughs> Chris has just noticed you're at 24.8. Obviously, just I think we're gonna get to 25k by the end of September. That's my prediction. Uh, our last Trader Joe's video did really well in terms of subscribers, so I guess y'all want more of that kind of content. Should where be more Trader Joe's, that'd be true. Uh, yeah, well, well I think it's, since it's getting some hits, we should just do so. Now, what do we do? Like Chinese food, a different cuisine of yeah. food? Yeah. I think I think people appreciate the sassiness and the candidness of of all the dishes. Oh my, I felt so bad. One of the persons that were in the chat, I forgot who exactly, but they said that they have the kimchi tofu soup in their freezer when they watched the video. Now they're afraid to try it. <laughs> yeah. It's not horrible. It's still edible. Like yeah. you could still be satiated from it. Okay, this mother effer is a liar. We're in town at Ise. This is Monday. You did not. We were not born yesterday. And you did not come out on Saturday. Oh. This is good. I don't think I usually drink when I eat a bun me. The bun me is like a, it's like a, like a lunch. Oh, you don't you think don't really... about wanting to drink with a no. sandwich, but with this, you want to drink one. Yeah, because you have that illusion. Like it, it is like a, it is a charcuterie, you know? Yeah. I'm like a yeah. full on sandwich. How did I get mayo on this one? Oh, probably from smearing it here. So make sure you subscribe. We have to go live one more time this week, just like the old days, at least 15 minutes. Uh, is this the same tie from YouTube? I don't know another tie from YouTube. So maybe. Everyone, everyone you tell us which tie you know. Because yeah. Unless you're thinking about Tian, which kind of looks like the name tie. Mm. Or unless I has a YouTube that we don't know about. No, he's he's shy. Oh, jalapeno with less seeds. They're all the same. They are all the same. Yeah. <gasps> Did I do Maggie on this one? I don't recall. We are drinking a Pinot Noir. Uh, review videos are always interesting. Doesn't matter who you are. Really? I think it matters. We bring the personality. I watched other uh, review videos. I'm like, boop, let me review your review video. <laughs> First of all, just kidding. Uh, CM's a super entertaining channel. Love the content. Usually don't catch the lies, but I love the conversation, jokes, dancing, and singing, and of course, the cooking on the road to 25K and more. Thank you. Such a nice comment. It's nice. We, we vary up our content when we can. I mean, we're not exclusively a food channel. We are a, a variety show. Yeah. We're just all over the place. All over. We are 
cool drugs. Wait, what? We are drugs. What does that mean? We go all over the place. It's like we're psychedelic. We're a lava lamp. Sometimes your words don't make sense. Like the wholesome, you recently said that's so wholesome, and then everyone thought you meant the other word that you said in erroneously. I already forgot. Burdensome. You just say words and they don't make sense. And then I'm like, girl, yeah. everyone understands what I mean. They're just being nice to you. Oh, SSS says, no, I mean, it doesn't matter who the viewer is. And y'all saw me how feisty I was like, yeah, it does matter who he puts it out there, you know? Um, it's a shame we lost the Friday lives. Always watch your videos the day after you post or go live. Oh, so it's a Saturday type of thing. We'll probably do a few Friday ones to wrap up the end of the year here and there. I know, I know our next couple of Fridays are a little busy though. I love this question. This is for Mark. Well, I can answer too, but I'm curious what you would say. If you could make a Korean charcuterie, board what would you have on it <gasps> oh i already have some thoughts but i want to hear from the resident korean first. i don't know what can you do like a bean buff mm. <laughs> it's so hard to talk when i put the whole thing in my mouth wouldn't it be similar to um the bosom oh bosom like that to me is like a charcuterie almost. It's just there's no car carb in it. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. The pork belly, garlic, oyster, kimchi, samjang. We might have an idea for our next live. Mm. What is a Vietnam no, a Korean version of a sandwich? Do y'all have a sandwich? Not really, huh? It's most likely because, um, again, we said this earlier, a lot of French influence in Vietnam. So sandwich is very, I think that's how sandwiches came about, you know? Mm. But I guess the most similar thing is like a kimbap, mm. where everything is just eaten in one bite, right? Dirty pot, kimbap, it's gonna ban me. <laughs> Donna says, now Mark's right. Y'all are like drugs. Y'all are addictive and we miss y'all when you're Aww, not around. Oh my gosh. See, I see, I know I make sense sometimes. Yeah, you had to phone a friend in. I know, you thank explain you it yourself. for helping me. Uh, Chris says, I'd like Kim Soo Hyun on my life. Sorry, charcuterie board, but that's another subject. Chris, I thought you were a vegetarian. Now, son, you want Kim Soo Hyun? Kim I'm sure that's very, he's very meaty, it sounds like. Oh, girl. Oh, I know. Let me top, let me top you It's off. because in Mark's defense, he usually drinks more wine than me, okay? But tonight is not the I night. I thought I was going to, like, we'll have leftover and after live. I thought I was going to enjoy a glass or two while watching Netflix, but I guess I have to open up a new bottle. I'm not allowed to drink the wine. You like every time we do for at home, mm -hmm. not date night, but just at home after dinner, let's just open a bottle of wine. He's like, yeah, I'll have a glass. He'll take a sip and that's it. And then I end up. Usually I drink three fourths of my glass, okay? And then and I usually I'm not in the mood when you decide you want a glass of wine. So it's like, not my fault. You're a little thirsty and I'm not. Don't do that. <laughs> it's so nasty. Filipinos don't really have a sandwich either. Oh. Would a Korean charcuterie board have cheeses? Probably not. The way you guys use cheese is just in like tteokbokki and in like ramen, but we not just love cheese. love the mozzarella cheese on yeah. spicy food, but uh, probably not cheese. Yeah. Brendan says, Mark, how do you like the Vietnamese meatloaf? Is it better than the real deal? Uh, the real deal is a little saltier, I bet. This one's a little bland. A little like, vanilla. Uh, if you like you know, blue cheese or a Stilton or Gorgonzola. <laughs> Can you not do that? Like, if you're going to joke, just joke, but don't try to comfort me. Right <laughs> That's like, that makes me more annoyed. I don't like that. I'm just really commit to the joke. I'm kidding because uh, James is very, very neutral. Y'all didn't hear from our last video where I have to shower before any festivities. So not always, not all the time, though. 
when I'm when I gotta get it, I gotta get it. No time for no shower. You wait for the shower afterwards. Look, it's the bear again. Ew, no. No, that's a ghost. Ooh. <laughs> it looks like Casper. <laughs> oh, I'm what's your mic like goal, y'all? You're feeling oh, yeah. that? I'm feeling the wine. I love the oh, wine. Oh, good. The wine, it, I just like, just hooked me up. Like, we have Hungry for Adventure on. Hi. Sorry we showed up late. Happy Monday, boys. Hi. Happy Monday. I still have it on my bookmarks to watch. What do you need more meat? Uh, eventually. Okay. Uh, I think you did a s Japanese souffle pancake video. I haven't watched those yet. Did you make it or did you go somewhere? I think they went somewhere. I think typically they go out. I don't think I've seen a cooking video on their channel. Before. We were supposed to make our own souffle pancake, but we never got around to it. Can you remember that name Shannon says? This is the same one Chris said. Kim Soo Hyun is a hottie. Now I want to know. Now I'll be upset. Look it up. I don't, sure, I don't share know. your screen. No, not we're not gonna do that like because we Mario have, Lopez we thingy have, like last week, Eddie no, Cyprian or whatever. Yeah, and then Brenda, that's that's how we get Brenda to watch us again. She'll be like, What's this going on? <laughs> All of a sudden we have menses on the screen, she'll be like, Hey. Um, we're at 116, got it. Are there Korean bows? Not really, right? Mm, no, we don't really use bows. I think the closest one is what's that? The, the white dumpling um, dough thing. White dumpling dough like thing. In, in dim sum, it's usually with the char siu, like red pork inside. But we oh. eat that with either like mandu filling or red bean. Oh, I know. Yeah. So it looks like a bao, but it's not quite a bao, right? Is that what you're talking about? No. So is that, have, have you done one with all three meats yet, or is that too much? Mm, you, you try it. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to talk for the next few minutes. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'll pass it over to you to grab whatever we need to replenish. Let's put it all on, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be pretty anymore. Mark can't help himself. It always has to be. He's always about presentation. He's always polished in everything that he does. Right? Just that, just because I can, and since Eddie's here, let me just do a little bit more mayo. Because why not? We got it. We got an overabundance of mayo here. Okay. I'm going to be honest. This Nothing. turned out way better than i thought mm. i was like it's just bunny me ingredients like how good could it be in a charcuterie board why not just eat it in a sandwich but i actually think it tastes better than the sandwich it's the wine girl oh it's the wine is <laughs> because i get to drink wine it's a thousand this. percent the wine oh, everything is literally the same but that is true when you eat something differently than the way it's assembled it could taste a little different. and here's the thing like uh for the same amount of ingredients you could go to bamicha cali and only pay I don't know, like seven bucks for three sandwiches because they always do the two buy two get one free. But if we if they sell a, a charcuterie board like this, you could probably multiply by oh yeah at least four and people will still buy it, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's the same ingredients. So good. I see a lime in the corner. Was that supposed to be something? Or uh, oh, if, if got, it, did, got it, got it, got it, yeah. Uh, love Vietnamese bao buns, Chinese bao buns, yes. And closest Filipino sandwich would be a, ooh, I don't know how to say that. Xiao pao? How do you say that? It's a meat-filled steamed bun. Xiao pao. And Michelle's here. I'm late, but I love you guys. Does the L stand for late or for love? Love. Or love. Love. Love you too. Thanks for being here. Again, if you're, if you're one of the 117 people on tonight, give this video a thumbs up. Comment. Make sure you subscribe. We're ambitious. We're going to we're going to get a 25k by the end of September and actually do a 25k it. celebration. We did a premature one when all them bots. Oh yeah. We thought we overnight we became a viral sensation and they were all bots basically. They found our video and they're like, 
let's subscribe. But if you're watching right now and you're not subscribed, you'll make us so happy by hitting that subscribe button. So please consider it. <laughs> uh, oh, it's called Show Pow. Show Pow. Linda says, have you ever made Bun Bao? We have not made Bun Bao. Honestly, Bun Bao is not one of my favorite things. What, but Which one is that? That's the big white bao that you get at dim sum, but inside there's like a pork meatball, oh, yeah. what I just the egg, right? yeah, yeah, all that. That jalapeno looks so delicious. It actually, yeah, the jalapeno and the pickled I love veggies the and the cilantro yeah. really helps you like be able to eat more. Like, like doesn't the board still kind of look full? We still have half a loaf of bread and all of the meat earlier. Mm -hmm. How much is bun me in California? Like three to four bucks just depends yeah i would say on average like four to five bucks actually right mm -hmm. back in the day it was back in the day lee's sandwich was so it was like a dollar fifty yeah you remember that yeah oh yeah when i was, it was in high college school or too, college oh yeah. uh, vietnamese sandwich was only a dollar fifty but now it's like five, closer to five bucks we're not that old college was just two years ago Well, oh, Tiffany spent seven bucks on on me. That sounds high. That's San Jose prices. But uh, Bunny Joy Cali, their shoe might, their Vietnamese meatball yeah. sandwich is my favorite there. But here's a question, Tiffany. Did the bun me deliver? Did it hit the spot? Or are you going to feel like you need to eat more bun me before you go back home? Uh, <coughs> Keith says, I was going to say that mine was $2. Not that old either. Okay. Yeah, She's been putting was, cucumbers on her faces before just, the stream. Just too. blame it on inflation and not our age. Our age doesn't inflate. It's the economy that inflates. There's $7 in Arizona. See, I mean. Central Valley, $4.50 to $8. Actually, I'm really curious. I don't, actually don't know because, like, okay, I'm going to look up a Lee sandwich down here. Mm. And look at how much a duck viet does number one. We actually ate at Lee's earlier, but I didn't get a baguette knowing or like about me because I knew we were gonna eat this. So I ended up getting a croissant sandwich. John says Portland bun me is greater than San Jose bun me. I'm what? surprised. That. Then again, the Portland bun me, I can imagine all them hipster chefs like zhuzhing it up, making like farm to table um, pate and mayo. Uh, Tiffany says it hit the spot and I still want to take one back to Portland. You take one to back to Portland. I want to see. Michelle says sushi soon. Oh, we just had all you can eat sushi earlier this week. Oh, Lee's sandwich, sandwich, uh, uh, special combination, duck viet, $4.99. Mm. Five bucks now. So it's five bucks in the Orange County. Keith says five to seven, depending on the place. Yeah. Five here in Iowa. I love how everyone just dropping the pricing of where, where it is, where they're from. Wendell is here, late check-in, but that looks tasty. It was so Aloha. good. Watch the replay so you can see when it was all assembled. Sandy says, bun me in Seattle is around six to seven. Remember it being 250 back in the day, back in the day, like two years ago, right, Mama? Yeah, it was actually 150 when we were in high school slash early college mm -hmm. for, for Lee Sandwich. That's why people like going. In Philly, Barb says they're eight dollars. Dang Ooh. Philly! <gasps> Should we do a Philly cheese bun me sandwich? Like Philly cheesesteak bun me sandwich? Philly cheesesteak bun me sandwich. Mm. Michelle says, "Is there a video?" No, we. That was just like a. We went out and got all you can eat sushi and didn't film. I think there's there there'll be a short on it, but not a video. I see like I don't even know how much bread I actually ate, but technically when I saw you chop up the bread yeah, earlier, bread. it was like one loaf. Like what a normal sandwich would be. So if we're splitting it in half. And we have all these. We still have that. Oh, so we didn't, we didn't eat a lot of bread today. So skinny. The only thing with baguette is like, even though people say, oh, put 
like a wet paper towel and microwave it the next day, it still doesn't get as soft as when you get it the first day, obviously. Like, I don't know how to revive bun me, like bread, baguettes. So if anyone has any tips, let us know in chat. But, but it's so kind of on the cheaper side that let's just get it fresh. Like it? Okay, so we made a money, huh? We well, made a we, money. We got our one and only super chat for tonight from Jane Doe. And with that super chat, we could probably get at least five baguettes. Enough bread, enough baguettes for every day this week. Mm. Rebecca says, hi guys, Rebecca from Walnut looks good. Cheese. Mm. Yeah, I told Mark we could have potentially, we didn't add it though, but you could potentially add uh, laughing cow cheese because that's one of the ch first cheeses I grew up on. A lot of Vietnamese like, people do like that. Like we would just put it, this sounds like an odd combination. Anyone else, anyone that's grew up on this, please let me know. I'm not the only one. But back in the day, me and my sister would eat baguette, laughing cow cheese, or um, what's that, American cheese, and a slice of banana. Does that sound weird? Banana is the word one. Well, Avi, yeah. But I should get that next week for you to try. Okay. Because it's like it's like a dessert. It's like a dessert that has like cream cheese in it ish, kind of, but not really. Hmm. Well, I as a kid, I made up my own combination that what? I love, but no one else does it. It's not even a Korean thing. It's not like what people grow up with or anything. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. You know those uh, clementine or tangerines? I don't like where this is going. If you're starting there. So you know how it's like the skin's easy to peel and then you make, and you peel your wedges? So one wedge slice with a little piece of American cheese and eating it together. <laughs> okay, time out. What, what sounds more, what's a, what's a more palatable co what? food combination out of the two choices we just gave you? Baguette with laughing cow cheese and a slice of banana or clementine with <laughs> a little piece of squirt like you tear a little piece of the american cheese okay which one sounds more palatable I, and I i'm not know. i'm not judging i know what i know he knows what he knows i want to know from a third party perspective loanne says yes laughing cow cheese and banana is the best is what? it a vietnamese thing mm -hmm. i mean i don't know if it's a vietnamese thing or not but i'm gonna google it afterwards to see if anyone else can relate but clementine with cheese, never, never ever heard of that. I'm curious though. No. Would you do you think you'll like it now though? Probably not. I also did it with apple slices too. Apple slices and cheese. That's a little bit more closer to what I, I did, might I be thinking about. Mmm. That butter hits. <laughs> Memories <laughs> Oh, Bunny's talking to us. <laughs> What's our last uh, like goal? Are we close to our next like goal? So far, we've done. What did we do so far today? Chipples. Chipple. Another live. Another live. So we just need to get to 100. Are we not 100? We didn't do anything else yet? We only did two? Linda says we do laughing cow and banana too. So maybe huh. it is a Vietnamese thing. Maybe it is. Don't forget the poll. Yeah, I was going to ask Mark if he could pull up his phone to okay. look it up. We did do a poll. What's the question? And Mark, you can guess what the majority said. But I said, what's your favorite part of charcuterie? I wrote meat, cheese, other, which is like crackers, nuts, and the jams, and then wine. I know what Mark will pick, but what do you think our viewers chose? In cheese. The poll? I'm going to say cheese. You think cheese? I'm going to say cheese. I can't guess because I saw the poll before we went live. So, yeah, let's take a look at that. Oh, we're at 121 likes. So we owe 100, and then we might get to 125, which means we owe another spin. So we're on, we're on, and it's only 741. We're good. I'm going to let Mark do that part first. Maybe we'll get the next like goal in. That way, you know, we can just spin it while it's up at, at once. We got Lainey here saying, hi, happy Monday, happy Monday. Yes, baguette with condensed milk is the business. I love it. Yeah, I haven't had that in a long time. Oh, my gosh. What? The one that I choose has the least votes. For cheese? No. No, for me, what I like most. Oh, wine, yeah. Yeah. All right, so here's the results. Read them out loud for the people. <clears throat> so far... 
um, out of all the votes. How many votes? 155 of you voted. If we have 155 people voting, we should be at 155 likes, mamas. Get, get the, on that. Get the likes up. Yeah. And, and hit the subscribe button. Okay. Go in order? Yeah. Okay. So, the, again, the question is, my favorite part of a charcuterie board are, and the choices are meat, cheese, other stuff, like the nuts and fig and crackers, or the wine. Number one, with 37% of the votes, cheese is number one. Cheese. Y'all love the cheese up in here, huh? Which I guess right. Mm -hmm. That's not my choice. Okay. The second most popular, with 34%, so really close, high, almost high, is the meat. Mm. <clears throat> and then in third place with 15 percent of the vote is the other stuff like the nuts gems and crackers and olives probably mm -hmm. and his last place with 14 percent is the wine who did not vote for the wine you're missing out like 125 people did I not would, vote for the wine but here's the thing like i don't think i would be attracted to order a charcuterie board if we did not have wine I can't remember the last time I had charcuterie where there was no wine. You know, I feel like wine is. You know, how some restaurants that also have a lot of wine, but the one of the appetizer on the menu is like build your own charcuterie mm -hmm. board. Have you ever built one without ordering wine? I don't think so. I don't think so either. I don't think so. Yeah. Allison says, "I'm a sucker for cheese. The stinkier, the better." Yeah. Right? Still, do you like stilted? Which I. Which is pretty stinky. Super stinky. I don't know. Like I love charcuterie board, but when we go out to places, I look more forward to the wine. And the charcuterie board is just on the side for me to enjoy the wine, but not the other way around. Ooh. But how do you feel when you see this? You like you like the, and then the wine is just to help wash down the cheese and the meat. No, I feel like the wine helps me enjoy the charcuterie more. Oh. But I, I would have a. I'm sure we got a charcuterie where maybe we just got some cocktails, but I don't think I've ever had like charcuterie with a Coke. Yeah. Right. right or right, water. Right, like I'd always have right, it or something. Right. But you know, teach their own. Um, while we get to the wheel, everyone uh, take a look at Elda's question. What's everyone's favorite cheese? We might, we might as well do like a, should we should do a cheese taste test. Since everyone loves like 37 people love 37 percent of people love yeah cheese that's here. the number one answer so everyone answer ella's question what is your favorite type of cheese yeah. and while we do that we are going to spin the wheel i think two times because we missed the hundred and we already passed 125 too we're at 126. oh so we get really? to spin twice. oh okay we only done twice that's what i remember did we miss one that we don't remember chipples and the video there's nothing else right Actually, I can tell by, actually, oh, okay. I don't remember how many wedges I did. All right, let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I added nine. So we only did it twice. Twice, okay. okay. Cause that's gone, right? Okay, so we just have some giveaways, some other stuff. Okay, ready? All right, let's spin the wheel. Oh, I didn't put tapo on the wheel this week. That's fine, we had plenty of that. Okay, now band word. Do you think that's just something we say for the next one? Because it's so close to the end. Okay. Okay. Can we remember that band word is automatically added, and then we could always add band word again. That means there'd be two band words. Okay. Next okay. We'll do two band words next. Oh, well, only if it lands on band word for the next. Oh, one. you know we get one. Okay, so now we're gonna spin for the one twenty-five now. Ready? Let's spin the wheel. It has to be a giveaway. There's two giveaways left. I, I love to do the giveaways. Oh no, Song Association game, your favorite. Jajangna? Jajangna? It's okay, it's early, is it not? Who likes the song game? If you like the song game, put some musical emotes in the chat real quick before we go get the paper. What, what are you so huffing and puffing about? It's, it's just not one of my favorites. Let's add something that's a favorite for yours. And then what, what is your favorite wheel wedge? So giveaways. Oh, those are fun. Okay, um, bring the paper then. Because we uh, we need to choose 10 words for James to uh, sing a song with the word in the lyrics. So yeah, it's 
start putting those words in the chat. I won't take a look. I may start clearing things out here. If you want like a little tip towel for that section there? Oh, yes. We have a, we have a we can do this. No, just clean. A clean. <laughs> Stay on stream, mama. Oh, one jalapeno down. You give me the pen? Uh, I thought I did. did I? Oh, no, no, no. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, now give me words. Oh, I can start cleaning. We need to think of 10 words. So, uh, if you don't give know. Give them an example. So if the word is baby, then James has 15 seconds to think of a song that has the word baby in the lyrics. Like, hit me baby one more time. Oh baby, baby. Okay, so I, I need to think of 10 words and all of you could help. The words shouldn't be too obscure or difficult, but not too easy like girl, love. Oh, and Eve said love. Okay. Uh, Eve, I'll give you a, the next word you say, I will put down on the list. Guaranteed. I'm that as a bonus then. What's love? Got to do, got to do with you, baby. What's love? It's about us, it's about trust, babe. And I, yeah. We'll always love you. All right, Sometimes keep those words coming. Uh, Michael, I don't think that's an like easy word. So lovely, happened so fast. I met a girl, baby, baby. Is Sleeping on the couch. I hear you. Hi, Dee I hear you. We'll try to show Hedy at the end of the stream. That, I want to make a new tradition. This probably needs a charge soon, because I don't remember the last time I charged it. OK, one more word, Ooh, that was fast, y'all. One more word. Okay. One Allison, you got it. Word. Did we drink all the wine already? We did. I finished my line. All right. Keep chatting. Keep chatting. Also, play along at home. We always love to hear what words or what songs you think of. Okay, you ready? Ready. Are we ready? Are we ready? All right. I miss the disco lights behind us. Should we go buy that again? Oh, can I do the flashing at least? We never do that one. Make it more of a club in here. Am I pressing the right thing? There's different like options. So you choose the one that you like. Oh, am I only just doing the chain color? Is there a different button for the flashing one? Oh, here. Oh, oh, there we go. It's just random colors, huh? We should have that on our um, affiliate link. Okay, ready, 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 ready. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Number one, dream. 15 seconds. In a dream, my love, you will find my heart. Never in my dreams I... Thought I'd be with you. You're always on my mind. I'll always love you. When I see you, then I see your face. It gets happy for real, but I'm still dreaming. Da -da 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 -da. In a dream, I can end up with you, my love. Do you remember that song? I think that was Raquel. I know the song. Oh, okay. Um, oh, you know what? Go. You don't know one. Oh no, I was thinking of Labouche, but the guy rapper, but he doesn't say dream. Oh yeah. But 
I talk, talk. I talk, talk to, to you, you in, in the my, night. In my drill. Oh, he does say it. <laughs> See? Somehow. I was like, um, yeah. Somehow, I just knew, I just thought that song would have it. Oh, that's Anyways, a good but one. you get it. Who sings this song? Dream lover, come rescue me. Take me up, take me down, take me anywhere you want to, baby. Now, I'm you so Man, desperately. You know. Won't you please come Jessica around? Because I want to travel around with you, baby. Uh, in the music video, she's in a hot air balloon. And she's a diva. When you think of diva, which artist do you think Mariah? of? Mariah? Yeah, Mariah. Oh, she sings that Does song. Does remember that song? I know the song. I just didn't oh, know saying it. Yet. That's her. Okay, number two. I take his gay card away now. Ooh. Number two, honey. And it's just like honey when your love comes over me. Ew, this is nasty. Is she talking about what I think she's talking about? Probably. Oh, baby, I'm just going to get it. See. Oh, you come and taste of your taste of your honey. Now she da, 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 da. I love that music video, and it's not Leanna Rhymes. Oh, people are still on about that. Can't fight the moonlight, honey. Okay, number three. Imagine. Just imagine. Just imagine. Just imagine all the place we could, could be imagining. Is this a Barney song? I don't know the song. Yeah. Just imagine. Who sings that song? Someone look it up. I know that's a song, but I don't know if it's a Barney song now. Imagine all the people. That's like the Beatles or John Lennon? Is what Mike's saying. But vouch for that one. We can move on. Do you know any songs with Imagine? Imagine. Imagine. I know a Korean song. And she says, oh, that's imagination. Sing it. It Go. would work. Sing it. Just imagination. No one hang on up so. Do, 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 do. Up so. <laughs> All right. So oh, does it move to the sound of my voice? Hello. Yeah. So that that the one you chose is for music. Music, music yes. Yeah. Music make me lose control. L U Z lose control. Is L U Z E? That's not how you spell lose control. For that song. L U Z. That's lose like the light. <laughs> But that song is still spelled lose. Wait, Elliot how song. do you spell lose control? For the Missy Elliott song? Missy Elliott it's just song. the word lose. It's the L U Z E? No, L U Z. I don't think it's spelled that way there, mama. Yeah, okay, I could Someone right. vouch. Okay. Number four. Wait, did I get imagined though? They're vouching still. Are you okay? Oh, you got I it. said you got just it. Oh, imagine. Okay. Just imagine. Okay, number the Barney song that no one heard of. Okay, number four. <laughs> heard of. <laughs> By May. <laughs> yeah, don't say it like that. Okay, number four. Uh, time. So I had the time of your life, and I never felt this way before. Yes, I swear this is true, and I owe it all to you. You know a time song. Time after time, you can love. Da, 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 da. Time, time after time. Time after time. I don't know any of the lyrics. Oh, see, Linda got it. Time after time. There you go. Yes, Linda. All right. Numero cinco. Um, the word is. Mirror. Mirror, mirror hanging on the wall. You don't have to tell me who's the biggest fool of all. Mirror, mirror, better you can lie to me. Bring my baby back. Bring my baby back to me. I gave myself goosebumps right now. Look, feel my goosebumps. That's how good I think I sang. 
Oh. Oh! <laughs> I think I'm that good at singing. I know I'm not good. I, I watched the replay. Mirror Mirror was M2M, I think. Mm. You know M2M. Right? Mm-hmm. That, was in our, that was on our win app, y'all. Winamp. Drop your favorite MP3 in the chat. Go. Favorite skin? Uh, there's another mirror. RuPaul. Oh, how does it go? Oh. Mirror, mirror, mirror on, on the wall. wall. Who's first? Face, face, face. face. Yeah. Is it is it the BBs? Yeah. First, yeah. Okay. Number in the middle says the six, word six. is heat. Heat. Is there a in the heat of the night? I don't know that. I don't know heat. 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 I feel heat? like I'm saying heat. 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 I don't know. Heat. Oh, like Gloria Esteban. Turn the beat around. <laughs> Turn the heat around. Was she changing the thermostat? Or uh, welcome to Miami. Party in the city where the heat is on. Oh! <laughs> I I don't yeah. know lyrics, but you know at for least some reason, like it's like in the back of my brain. And I'm just randomly saying songs, and it actually has a... Okay, so you're two for three, okay? But the Luz, L-U-Z, L-U-Z-E oh. thing earlier, no. Someone said that's a girl. That's a name's girl. That's what they said earlier. That's good. Heat of the Night. So, yeah, did I sing? In- did, did James sing that? I'll keep you the point. I just said, in the heat of the night. But I don't even know. Anyway, just... I mean, it's not like I need it, but yeah. Okay. It's not like you need it. Girl. But next week, oh! if we land on this wheel, no, no, all no. hard words. No, like, the, the point is for me to be able to just sing songs. Like like what? Huh? Uh, cornucopia? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's a Hunger Games soundtrack song with that word in it. Okay, number seven. Survive. I will survive. Oh, I will survive. I will survive. Hey, hey. That's the only survive song because the other one's Survivor. So I can't sing that. Oh, I'm a survivor. I'm not going to give up. I'm not survive. Uh, I feel like no one, no other artist would want to sing a song with the word survive. Because of it being like such an yeah. <laughs> Bear the Bear says, I was hoping you go Leanna Rhymes. How do I ever, ever survive? Oh. I feel like you should be Leanna Rhymes for Halloween. Like I'm feeling it. That's kind of funny. But that would only make sense for this group. I don't even know what would be her signature look, like curly hair. And- <laughs> Eddie Sibrian, can you bring him around? <laughs> All right, number eight. Number eight, y'all. Lost. Lost. Lost and found, lost, lost. There's still, there's probably a bunch of songs. I can't think of anything with lost. It's lost in your eyes, lost, lost. Yeah, I don't know lost. Bit lost in your eyes, but I just made that up. I don't know anything. Not Liana, right? Lost. What's the, the, lost. I, I, yeah, everyone like, chime in. Lost. Go ahead, say a word, and then somehow <laughs> it's going to have the word lost in it. Oh, lost without you. Can't help myself. Da-na-na-na. Good one, Rosemary. Oh, isn't there a song with lost in emotion? Yeah, there is. Lost in emotion. Yeah, how does lost in emotion go? Someone find that, Chris. It's going to bother me. So by the end of the stream, find that. I'm lost in love. I found love in a hope. No, that's it. Lost, lost, lost in love. love. They lost found in love, lost in not lost in love. <laughs> okay, I missed it. We're not all perfect, y'all. We're not all perfect. Lost. Uh, lost. Not all lost. Okay. Lost him. Yeah. Lost. All right. Number nine. Mountain. Uh, 
Cause baby, there's ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough to get me from there to you. <laughs> We're so bad with the lyrics, with the very classical songs that we should know the lyrics to. So. Yeah. We got the first three. I thought you were gonna sing another mountain. And I feel like every time the word mountain gets chosen, I always sing this one, and then you're gonna say the one that I think I don't remember. Go ahead. Someday we'll know if yes. love could move the mountains. Same Someday thing. We'll every know time. Why the sky is blue. And then this is the part where you go on a tirade about we you know, know why the sky, sky is blue. Mandy Moore, go back to school. Okay, the last word. <laughs> Telly, that's a classic. Straight up by Apollo Abdul. Straight up, don't tell me they really want to love me forever. Oh, oh, oh. Hit and run. Hit and run. Run. What are you doing right now? I'm nervous. Okay, this is off script. Okay, number 10. The last word. Oh. James already won this week, but it's okay. He's uh getting all the words right, so that's good. Number 10 is beat. Beat it. Beat, beat it. it. Show them how you want to be. Show them how funky that's <laughs> right. It doesn't matter who's wrong or right. Just, just beat it. it. Just see, you know, um, who's that name? The parody guy. Weird Al Yankovic. He's the Ruined reason it. why I can't know the original Michael Jackson song. Because mm. I, I think of his song first. Yeah. Sing me it. too. It's just eat it. Eat it. I don't know the rest. Is he married to Vanna White? What? Weren't they together? Aren't they're they together? together? Can someone vouch? Or they were married or something together? Oh, you can't stop the beat. The motion of the ocean of the burn and a burn. The then a 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 then I always thought it was turn the beat around. It's gonna be the fashion. Turn the beat around. Love to hear percussion. See, I I always love to hear the kid, fashion. <laughs> love to hear the fashion. That's how I always sing as a kid. So you're homosexual and you're young already. Eat it. <laughs> Don't eat, eat it, it, mama. Do not eat it. Have some more chicken. Have some more fries. It doesn't matter if, if it, it goes straight to your thighs. <laughs> Just eat it. Should we? Yeah, we've done that before. Okay, Joy B says, I'm late. Sorry, I've been at work since nine. Love you guys. Yes. Now we've established that if you come 30 minutes before the stream ends, you are late. Earlier, someone was like, I'm late, but it was 40 minutes in. Joy B, how you doing? You just missed the tail end of the stream. Yeah, we'll call, we're going to call Joy Joy Baguette. <laughs> Joy Baguette. Joy Joy Baguette. So y'all have to remind us that we need to do a band word at the next live, like the next, like oh, this yeah. live stream setup. Please remember. Also subscribe because we have to do another live stream before next Monday, at least 15 minutes. So it could be tomorrow. Me. It could be Wednesday. It could be next Sunday or this coming Sunday. We don't know, but it could be tonight. <laughs> Can you imagine? No. Actually, I'd be, no, it can't it's be tonight. Like, People like, be like, I want my refund. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we had so much fun. Any any other parting words before we wrap up tonight's stream? I just love that we're hanging out with you all on a Monday night. It makes us feel so happy. We do have one uh, request. Mark, sing that Armadillo song, the, the Selena one. Oh, it's the on the radio song, right? <laughs> Dun, 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 on the radio. I'm a Dillo. I totally thought, okay, she was in Texas when she sang the song in the movie Selena, okay? So 
<laughs> we learn I guess in school fair. that armadillos are common in Texas. They're prevalent in Texas. Yeah. So I guess as a young boy who doesn't know lyrics as well, it's just they're thinking that she's singing about the dang animals. I really thought so. That's no not much joke. of an animal. Oh, no um, we do have to grab Hedu before we end the stream. Oh. That's like a new tradition. Hedu's getting older, so now I just want to like have him as much as he's on the couch. Grab? Yeah, I want you to grab him. Oh, me? Because my neck hurts. <laughs> Is he there? Yeah. He has to go pee. He goes pee after the stream anyway, so we have to take him out. I love these like Zordon Star Trek lights that go by my voice. Y'all like that? Look at Mark though. He's like gingerly grabbing Hedu. I'll send a picture on the Discord of some of the dishes I got to play. Yes, we would love that, Joy. We can share our uh, button me board on Discord as well. Arthur the hamster. Okay, he's grabbing Hedu right now. He was deep asleep, so I was trying to be calm with him. Oh, so that he's not startled when you wake him up. Oh, hey, you look, look at this. Look at him. He's he was, so cute. He was a deep asleep. Deep asleep, baby. Oh, look. This is my favorite thing. It's not, it's just a light tap. I like it. And then his eyes close a little bit. He thinks he's a basketball. Hi, hey, you. Oh, my goodness. How are you, hey, you? Oh, oh, no. He's smelling the bun me board. How do you bun me? Hmm. Are you gonna poop out a bun me tonight? Hmm? Pate. Oh, look at his little paws. Is he gonna kiss me? <gasps> He's mad at me. He's like, what did I get? Woke He's up? mad at me. Y'all, look at Hedu. Throw some Hedu emotes in the chat, especially if you're a channel member. Use the Hedu emote. Throw some dog emotes. We're gonna try to end all of our streams with Mr. H because he he hates being on camera. He really does. All right, we love you all. Have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you for our next video. Bye. bye. Say bye, Hedu. Bye. Is he fully awake now? <laughs> Probably.